we're driving through to Mecca Wine Country, um, headed to some of the more popular wineries in the area. So this is the reserve room for the members of Ponte Winery. Wine tasting is going on. It is all outdoors. Well, not at the moment. It's not going on, but it is open. Um, the Ponte Inn is open as well. So again, if you are looking to get away for the weekend for a couple of days because you've been cramped up in the house, quarantined, um, consider the wineries, Temecula wineries. Like I said, I will be doing a couple of series today, uh, Thornton, Southwest, and Ponte, but there are a lot of smaller, lesser known wineries here in the area that are worth visiting. So again, whether you make it a day or a weekend, and those of you who can, coming from out of state, make it a week-long stay, there is plenty to do. So this is the lobby at the Ponte Inn. And off to the left, there's a beautiful room here. You can have breakfast, lunch, and I believe dinner may be served here. But you have the fireplace, which you can enjoy. You can just sit and lounge and talk with friends over a glass of wine, morning coffee. In the lobby, there's the gift shop. Also, the uh, hallway leading to the spa area. Downstairs, they do have a reserve room where they have uh, different events going on and it can also be rented out however due to quarantine that is not accessible at the moment i just wanted you guys to hear the sounds of the birds chirping in the water these lower level rooms that you enter off the courtyard also have patios that lead out into the vineyard with walking paths over to the wine tasting room and the restaurant you imagine getting up in the morning and sitting out here in this beautiful view having your coffee or reading your morning paper or even coming over to the fire pit to watch the sunset in the evening with some friends this is on 63 acres the pool areas over behind this building along with the spa. This is just relaxing. Upper levels overlook the courtyard. And this is the pond at the end of the courtyard. We're just going to turn here so you can just see the views. If you're on the second level and you're out on your patio, this is the view that you're going to see. Coast Winery and Ponte Winery share a parking lot. So if you're staying on the weekend, I mean, you can go wine tasting at either of the wineries. Never have to get in your car. And the walkways are lit up. They're very well manicured. And it's just relaxing. We're just going to so take a view South Coast of the walking winery before we enter. Uh, brunch is from 8 to 3. Winery. And then... There is pre-dinner from 3.30 to 5.30, cocktails, happy hour. 
uh, they are still open. Like so I said, the pool, again, when you make reservations South for the room, Island. you have to reserve a time for the pool area. The spa is not open. Wine tasting is open, and of course, it's all outside. And in the city of Temecula, we have um, the hot air balloon. Of course, today, I don't know if you would want to do that. It's supposed to reach 108. But if you're coming from the East Coast, Midwest, you know, California is hotter than normal, but you're still able to do things. They are still planning weddings here at South Coast Winery. So, and they do have their event room open. So we're here at Thornton Winery, which I believe to be one of the most popular of the wineries um, due to their summer jazz series, which has been canceled because of the coronavirus and everything else that's been canceled. But I have been able to see uh, Norman Brown, Candy Doffer, Jonathan Butler. I mean, they've had names like Boney James and some of the others. Very nice setup all outdoors very close to the stage so again if you are coming down to the winery and staying for a night or two i mean you can hide air balloon horseback riding you have downtown or old town temecula and then you're about 30 to 45 minutes um let's say 45 minutes to san diego